What's up, everyone? Today, we got a news update on an upcoming set, as well as a sneak peek of a project that I'm working on. Plus, we also got our allocation numbers in for Chilling Rain. All that and more in today's video. But before we get started, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload new content. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you like content like this or if you have any other suggestions for other types of content. Let's start off with the bad news. Allocation numbers. Chilling Rain has not been kind to us. Um, it's very unfortunate because it's a very hyped up set. But our allocation numbers are looking like Champion's Path and vivid voltage style allocations some really harsh numbers we're, we're getting only six percent of what we ordered it's very disappointing i was really hoping we could get a lot more but it's it's just the new norm nowadays right now um with pokemon i know pokemon came out and announced that they were you know taking care of this issue the shortage they had uh, they're working on deals getting um more print printers and we're really not seeing we thought we were seeing um, better numbers with battle styles, but we're really not seeing them now for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I hope there's a good reason why. Maybe they are printing um, other products more heavily, or maybe it's coming down to more products are going out to the big box stores. Who knows? We'll find out on release day um, if there's actually product on shelves. Fingers crossed, everyone, um, because... Honestly, I'd like to open up some Chilling Rain, and we already sold out of all pre-orders, so um, there's really not much I can do right now. I probably won't even have any Chilling Rain available on my store on re um, release, except for maybe some ETBs, which I did not put up for pre-order, just because the allocations were so harsh. The ETBs, we actually got 4% of, which is really, really bad. Um, on to the next topic. So, we have some news um, that was leaked recently. Uh, we got some card reveals for the new upcoming set, EV Heroes. Uh, I'll put some pictures up here in the video. Um, very stoked. We got a really cool looking Raichu card. We got a Swampert card. Um, now, these aren't full arts or nothing. Nothing special. But it's just like, it just shows how cool some of the artwork is in this set. And I feel like this is going to really be a home run set. Um, we kind of figured it already just with the the, the EV based um, set. But it's not just going to have EVs and ev evolutions. It's going to have other big hitters like the um, Hoenn starters and Pikachu, Raichu, stuff like that. So we have a lot more to look forward to in this set than just the EVs. Next topic. So we actually have some product coming in this week. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, we're getting some of our back orders fulfilled. So maybe this is why Chilling Rain allocations aren't that great. Because they're working on printing some of these other sets that really just did not have much product out there. So we're getting some Shining Fates coming in. Uh, Battle Styles products. Stuff like that. As well as some accessories. We got binders. We got some first partner stuff. Uh, the Galarian Rapidash boxes. Stuff like that. Um, we have a bunch of product coming in this week. So definitely check out the website. If it's out of stock, um, make sure you check it out again later on because chances are I might not have updated it yet. I will as soon as I get it in, so um, keep keep an eye on that for sure. Next and final piece of news is I just wanted to um, show you a little sneak peek of a project that I am working on. So if you have not already noticed, I started making these custom mystery boxes right up here uh, in the camera right here. Um, and each mystery box has a little... A perk to it it has a vintage repack in every mystery box on top of a chance of getting a sealed vintage pack such as in this case a platinum booster which isn't wizard of the coast vintage but it's still way out of print right now and the packs are going for over a hundred dollars a pack so it's still a really cool pack to um find but so i started with making these vintage repacks uh to give each buyer that nostalgic feeling of being able to open up a pack of cards just like the good old days without spending that two three four hundred five hundred dollar price tag that you would have to spend and this gives everyone the same odds of pulling a holographic card and all the cards are actually in really good shape so i actually picked out all the uh damaged cards all the uh, moderately played cards stuff like that 
they're all out of the mix. I did not use um, no garbage in these um, packs. What I did was I took all the light play and near mint cards out of all these collections that I have bought up, and I buy up. I'm constantly buying up these vintage collect collections. So um, I'm constantly adding to this and giving giving new cards to the mix. I'm putting more cards in the mix. So this project uh, I'm having a lot of fun with. I'm gonna show you a couple of my sample packs here. Um, the mystery boxes don't have packs that look like this yet. Um, I actually started. I bought foil packs blank foil packs and i'm actually starting to seal them in there and i have labels on the way which they're not here yet i had to get them custom made but these are going to be really cool and give you a really nostalgic feeling so um definitely make sure you check these out the next wave of mystery boxes will have these new packs in and um like i said everyone has a shot at a vintage hollow in these packs so one in three odds just like any other um booster pack and cool thing is like i said cards are in really good shape um nothing worse than light play condition and um they're set up the exact way you would see if you were to be opening up a, a unlimited base set booster pack you know the five commons two energy the hollow or rare and then three uncommon cards so it's really just a blast from the past uh hope everyone has been enjoying these i've heard a lot of good things from other from customers who have bought these they enjoyed them so much and I really just can't wait to make these better and better and enhance the experience as much as possible. I might even start selling these individually. Um, like I said, I do constantly buy up vintage collections. So this is a good way to get these out there at a very fair price. Um, as of right now, I'm going to be 100% transparent with everyone. No, I don't have base set Charizards in the mix. Um, I'm There are some cards that are worth a little bit of money, but at the same time, uh, to keep prices down, I can't afford to throw in four, five hundred, six hundred dollar cards into the mix. That would just increase the price of these packs. So I'm doing my best to keep it as affordable as possible and still give you that cool vintage, that nostalgic feeling when you do open up packs. With that said, I'm not saying that'll never happen. Um, and like I said, I am buying collections all the time. So there could be opportunities where I might throw in some of these as like a little curveball. You might see something that's worth $200, $300. But right now, um, the average value would be like your more average vintage hollow stuff you would see for like $20, $30, $40. Um, in some cases, I do have some $50, $60 vintage hollows in the mix that um, you can potentially pull. Uh, we got some Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge Hollows. Um, I don't know if there are any first edition. I think there might have been one first edition hollow. I do also have some first edition um, non-hollow cards that are actually in the mix. So some car some packs could have first edition cards seated in the packs in place of the unlimited cards. So you could also pull first edition cards. I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible with these. Um, I'm not going to be that guy on ebay that shows all these pictures of these base set charizards or first edition charizards blastoise venusaur stuff like that and not even give you a shot at it i've seen these sellers work i've bought these products before myself and you can't most cases you will probably never pull that fuck that charizard that first edition blastoise whatever it is because that seller probably already sold it after they took the pictures of the lot um to make that extra buck so I'm just being transparent with everyone. I really appreciate the support, everyone. And as always, let's make like Charizard and keep this passion burning.